Bah, Excusez-moi, en fait, on a juste un passeport à récupérer et euh, on n'a pas besoin de faire de démarche si on peut juste récupérer le passeport. Là, nous les tickets. Pardon Quand on appelle votre ticket, monsieur. S'il vous plaît, le passeport, il est là. Est... On n'a pas besoin de faire les démarches. On a, on a déjà fait, on a déjà reçu. Vous l'avez déjà reçu. Comme tout le monde, monsieur. Ah, mais c'est. Je ne Je vais pas attendre, je ne sais pas combien de temps alors que. Je n'aime Evie DGB is for Go in Peace. We have a very relatable and frustrating setting. I love the performances of everyone involved. It was, it felt very natural. I, I enjoyed going through this tiny representation of society where we have the impatient people, the abusive, just trying to rig the system or take advantage of others. We also have the wisdom of the elders being there for each other, letting you know when it's your opportunity and so you don't miss it. And also standing up for yourself when it's needed. Um, I also love this image of the child being observing, observing the surroundings and identifying what's happening, what play they are, what, what role they are playing and, and that is who notices what's going on also when we have this new life coming along and it's all good and peace is restored and that's uh, just a massive societal commentary that I really enjoyed, great job. Uh, go in peace. I really loved this. I thought the dynamic of it was really, really interesting with having it set up in a consulate and Obviously, that's in a different country, and within that, you have these kind of almost competing cultures because you have the culture of the con like of the country that the continent the consulate actually belongs to, but then you also have this added layer of the fact that you are in a different country, so there's a little bit of that as well. Um, so I thought that that it just adds an interesting layer to it. And it's also a government building and the bureaucracy is really well known and those kinds of things take a lot of time, a lot of hurry up and wait, a lot of documentation you need to have with like 12,000 things you didn't realize. All of that I think is really common when you're talking about government kind of facilities, consulates, DMVs, you know, going through anything with like social services or passports or you know things like that and so I think that they had a lot of kind of room to work with also when you have a setting like that you can really put a lot of different people in a room together and it makes sense for them to be in the same place and when you add a waiting room into it it makes sense for them to be gathered there for a long amount of time and you you know add an agitation and boredom and you know heat or you know all these other things and you can really get an interesting combination that seems believable and i really liked how they kind of built in and slowly went through not necessarily the different people but they slowly kind of built on agitation they kind of slowly built on oh like i'm gonna let her know it's her turn but then there's also gonna be some aggression behind that as well like they it's like i'm gonna help you out but then i'm also gonna be mad at you because you're in some way dragging in the process but i still want you to get your turn like things like that concepts like that i think they did a really good job of kind of building and then when you kind of reach this point where he has switched the numbers you know he's been agitated from the very very beginning he wants to get out of there clearly there's a lot of distressing family conflict going on and you know to have it all come to this boiling point where they're you know arguing at the window they're you know starting fights in the with the rest of the waiting room everything is chaos and then you just have this little girl who 
is the only one that's like truly looking around truly taking it all in and having her who's been drawing the whole time comparing it to what she's seen in pictures of like or in paintings of like wartime and stuff like that i thought was fantastic and then at the very end to have this kind of beautiful rallying moment where all the people just kind of immediately forgot what they were fighting about and rallied together to help this mom to calm her down and to have that be people that are you know of her same culture i thought it takes that idea of you're not alone to the next level because it's not just you're not alone because you're surrounded by people you're not alone because you have people surrounding you that know what it's like that that know maybe not you personally but that know your people and i think that was just such a beautiful moment and they pulled it off really well okay so go in peace is um an incredible short film i loved every aspect of it um and i think the team behind this piece should be very very proud each element uh from the story um to the characters to the performances, to the production design, to even the details of costume design, and to the transitions, to the cinematography, uh, which is both uh, documentary-like and also very expressive, spikely-like, are impressive um, and really, really powerful. It's a short film that stands out from the beginning. It captures um, your attention and it takes you from the start with this um, airy, unsettling uh, soundtrack um, and this uh, really good mix between eeriness, um, surrealism, and real life, and uh, authenticity. Um, a life that is so self-contained in one setting, uh, because it really, you know, brings out a story. Um, no need to add any embellishment, um, any overflowing drama. It's all very concise and effective and it knows what it's doing and it does it really well. Um, I like that the characters are flawed and the, their morality is questioned in, uh, with multiple choices that they're given throughout the story. Uh, again, Spike Lee's inspired cinematography is on point, he expresses so much without saying a word. Um, and the finale really wraps um, the theme up. Uh, showing how people come together when it really counts. Uh, I think that's uh, such a powerful but also clearly stated message. Um, so, claps for everyone behind this um, film. Go in Peace is about patience and having it or lack thereof. You get to see these characters um, interact with each other and it's this mother and son pairing at the DMV and they're simply trying to pick up a passport but the son is impatient and just wants to grab it and go and not sit through the process of what it takes to pick up uh, something as simple as a passport something that we commonly have frustrations with in certain times and places and spaces. Um, I loved this little dynamic, this little chance of story time that exists between the mother and son, the mother trying to teach this les lesson about patience and uh, sort of bringing up um, some pretty dark imagery here, you know, she talks about how uh, a machete would, uh, you know, take off a man's hand um, had he done wrong, and our son is then um, given this act of kindness, there is a stranger, she's a child, she's asking her father to draw a hat on her picture, um, and so he has this moment of kindness, and that kindness is rece received with a, um, a moment of being uh, taken advantage of the niceties within that moment. And he decides to take it, and he decides to have that greed sense of impatience, and I want this, and I feel like I deserve this, and he swaps out the numbers and 
tries to get the passport, but his choices have consequences. And because of those consequences, uh, the older man who shared the original number that he ended up stealing, uh, the ticket number, uh, chaos. Uh, breaks a foot and the whole uh, establishment a woman goes into labor uh, a child is sort of witnessing all of the chaos sort of take place and doesn't really get an understanding of why people are just so impatient because she's just sitting there um, drawing a picture on a piece of paper and so it all just kind of goes to show that choices can have consequences that lead into chaos. And sometimes having a knack for patience goes a long way. And for as far as kindness goes, give kindness, but don't take advantage of the situation because you're bringing kindness to that situation.